In this video, I'm going to be showing you on how to install DocuWorks. Now, in the previous video that I have made, I actually show there how to download the ISO file. And right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to be installing that ISO file that I have downloaded and I'll activate it online for you. So you will know the full step on how to do the installation. And again, if you do have the CD with you, you can use the CD, but for my end, I don't have it right now and I'm installing it remotely. So basically what I will do is I'll just download the ISO file directly from Fuji Xerox website and I'll just go ahead and open this ISO file. So right now I have my ISO file. I'll go ahead and mount this first so that it will seem to be like a CD. All right, so it's just like that. Looks like a DVD mounted into our PC right now. Go to Auto Run and just execute this application and make sure that you run it as administrator to make sure that you have the full privileges. Okay, now you have the option to choose the language that you prefer. Now I'll be choosing English over here. Now if you do have any, you know, any language that you prefer, you can select them now, right? Now I just wanted to remind everyone that if in case that you will be changing the language over here, make sure that the region and language set up on your PC, right? Is the same as the region and language that you're gonna be choosing right here, okay? because if they don't match, you will have an issue in setting up your personal settings, okay? So just click on English on that. I'm just gonna be installing DocuWorks right now, so we'll just proceed with installation of DocuWorks 9. All right, so it will start to extract, okay? Just checking that out, okay. So Setup Wizard is now starting up. So just press Next on this one. I accept a license agreement. Now you will be asked whether you want to select serial number or subscription. Now I did actually have explained this in the DocuWorks trial video, but to reiterate, Serial number activation means that you have purchased DocuWorks with license activation and you were provided with a serial number. And if you were to use a trial, this is also the same selection. Now, if you do select subscription, what will happen is that um, it will only ask you to use your Fuji Xerox Direct account to activate your DocuWorks. And this is understanding that you are purchasing Fuji Xerox Direct. Um, sorry, you are purchasing through Fuji Xerox Direct. And that your subscription to DocuWorks is by monthly basis. Okay? So again, um, there's two methods. Now I'll be selecting serial number because that's the uh, one that I currently have. I don't have anything set up on this computer right now, so I'll be using standard, okay? And this is the default settings. I don't want to change anything, so I'll just proceed with install. All right, now it says here that the DocuWorks 9 has been installed successfully, and click finish to close the wizard, okay? I'm just waiting for the license screen to pop up. All right, so in this screen, you are asked to actually enter the serial number to install the licensed version. And if you don't proceed with that, you can just click on install trial version as well, All right? That's also fine, um, but you only have 30 days to actually um, use it and you will be asked to activate it. All right, so I'll go ahead and proceed with enter serial number and I'll go ahead and key in the serial number right now, okay? All right, so after I key in my serial number, I, 
I am then requested to key in the email address and also the password for my Fuji Xerox Direct account. So this will be then tied in into that serial number and activated for me online. Okay, so you have to key in that information. So let me go ahead and key in my Fuji Xerox Direct email address right now. So once that's set, just click on OK. And it's now trying to go ahead and activate for us. And you can see here, it's just installing DocuWorks and it activated the license successfully. All right. So we don't need to go ahead and do any other um, activation once we, you know, set up DocuWorks because it's already been set up in the beginning. Okay. So click OK on that. And it will then install Fuji Xerox Direct extended working folder, extended folder for working folder. And I have discussed this as well um, in some of the videos. And Fuji Xerox DocuRex extended folder for working folder is actually a plugin that allows you to connect to working folder. Working folder is another separate product from Fuji Xerox that allows you to connect to um, to their public cloud. Okay, so working folder is actually a public cloud that Fuji Xerox owned. So if you also have that service, you can link them together and it will be, um, yeah, your files can be seamlessly be transferred to working folder as well. Okay, so I'll go ahead and proceed to install this application. All right. All right, DocuWorks has now been um, successfully installed. I'll go ahead and proceed to quit. Now what I will do is I will go ahead and restart this computer, right? Uh, before I proceed to configure my DocuWorks desk. All right, well, let's restart. All right, so my computer has been restarted. Let's go ahead and start DocuWorks desk. So when you launch it for the first time, it does ask you to configure your personal settings. Now I did um, inform earlier that if you're going to be setting up DocuWorks, make sure that you have the same language as your computer. Um, if you don't have the same settings, you will be having some issues setting up your personal settings. So right now, um, the language in the region on where my computer is set up is actually um, in an English location. So what will I do is I'll proceed with the personal settings. I'll set up a standard. And that's it. So basically personal settings has been applied and there's no issue with the personal settings, okay? Okay, and DocuRex is now successfully activated. And if you go to Start Guide, you can open this one up. You can also go to DocuRex Help over here um, to check for the information about the version of DocuRex. You can go to About, and you can see here that I have a 9.0.6, which is the latest version. So I don't need to update my DocuWorks. Okay. If you want to know how to update DocuWorks, if you don't have the latest version, you can refer to the video that I also have prepared for that. Okay. So there you go. Um, that's about it for today. I don't have anything to add on. Thanks for watching this video.